DJ baby, get ready for tonight's video as we're gonna be popping and locking all over the place. We're gonna be doing a little bit of a build, hopefully kind of, of a smaller build, but I also wanted to like pop in a little bit of a trick because I've been doing, of course, a lot of practicing and trying to get better at building. So it's most likely gonna be like a build for a one sim in the beautiful um, Willow Creek area. And we're going to kind of use our surroundings to kind of guide us into a better build as well as help you decide how you're going to make your roof work. Because let me tell you, roofs are challenging. So I'm going to start off with a roof tip, but stay tuned because we're going to pop and lock it for a whole entire build. We'll catch you there. So the first, first thing that you always want to do when you're getting ready for your build, click up on this save to my library section because it is going to, and then save a lot. Because it is going to basically tell you where, like, the front of the house is. So you can, like, build with the mind of, because typically if you're going to put this up to your gallery, you want it to pop. So you're going to want your front of the house to kind of be there. You can put it to the side and just maybe have a really good side view if you're planning on doing, like, a really cool pa patio set. But essentially, even though this is probably where the lot lines up, it's actually going to save to here. So I would suggest for a better lot appeal to start off in this area for your build. And if you just do a quick little, if you want some support, go to your wall tools, build a quick, like, square here. And then we're just going to go up and put our roof on. And you will see right away that this is where it is. So go back up here, click there, and look there. That's the front of your house. So this is where you're probably going to want to build. See, look at that beautiful house. Isn't it great? I bet a lot of you have houses that are like this, you know? Then you just put your door um, right here. And then you go and you do some windows. Because let me tell you, this is where I was. When I first started building, and I was like, Bob, look at that cute house. It's so nice, right? Yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. It is cute, but not cute. I mean, it's very simple, right? And that's where the challenge becomes. It is too simple. So we're going to take this, and we're going to kind of turn it into just a little bit more pizzazz, you know? So let's actually move this house all the way to the corner where it's gonna go and then let's get a nice zoom in up here so you guys can all see look at that it's pretty right this is what we do you make a house you make it simple let's throw some like paneling on it i really like the pure expressions don't ask me why i just think it's kind of cool it's like a white stucco kind of style nothing too fancy i guess and i really like it's this one right no it's this one i like this for whatever reason i think just that white with a little bit of the orange goes really nice and then a quick trim here oh that's how the trim works there too i don't know how it works like that there we go look at that cute 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 right sort of but then you're like boring so we're gonna take this concept of a very simple box and we're gonna turn it into a little bit more of a enjoyable house because i know for me when i play i either do one of two things i download someone else's build but then i kind of get bored because i don't feel connected to it or i build my own and i start with a square when you're doing like sort of a rags to riches style but then it ends up kind of looking very meek because i'm not used to building so you need to practice you need to have fun with it and you can just go with simple shapes. It doesn't have to be too crazy. So stay tuned for some more exciting builds. All right, so we're gonna keep this guy in the back. We're gonna go back to our walls. Not wallpaper, walls, okay? We're gonna do something similar. Like I said, I want it to be kind of small. So we're still gonna kind of extend it a little bit like that. See that, isn't that nice? That looks grand. We're going to do something similar. We're going to go down here to our flat wall. Because you know what? Oh, that did something. No, no, no. Back up. We put it too far into the house. I was like, this isn't what I normally do. I'm going to make it even on both sides, right? Three and two. So let's stretch this house one more down. So we have three and two. I like symmetry is nice, you know? It's not necessity, but it's nice. So, and then if you put 
similar up top, right? You want to match your bottom and your top. It's going to make it a lot easier to place your roof when you're doing this. And then we are going to just move this guy. Can I move it back just a bit? And is it going to work? No. I want to move the house. Move the house. There we go. Just back to suspense. So I have a little bit of room for here. Because this, of course, we're not keeping this house on the lot. We're just using it as to see how you can, like, do a similar shape and style. Like, a simple shape and style to kind of build. So we're going to go back to our roof here. And what I actually like to do, um, there's many ways you can actually make this roof work. But for a porch, we're just going to go make sure that we have full coverage all the way around. See that? See that? And then we're going to go and we're going to grab the half gabled roof. We're going to turn it around so it's on top of what we just created there. It's going to give you symmetry by having the flat roof on top. And it's also going to line up with your porch down below. So, kaboom, kaboom. You see how that is? And then you want to go to the side because you have to make sure you don't have a gap, right? So we're going to slide you in. You don't have to go all the way. Just in the, Oh, or did I just... No, no, no. We don't want to turn it. Just enough so it lines up with the roof. See that? See how much that already looks better? So you can pop it all the way up and like make it line up with like the top of the roof. Right, so you have a little bit of a boom. Or you can also pop it down just a bit. Sometimes I like to do it almost flat. So it's not like nothing too crazy. And then you're gonna go to your columns. Any column will do. And you're gonna wanna place them around the edge. Kind of like framing essentially the all the corners of the house as well as your porch we're just doing a little mini porch you can expand this any way you like depending on your comfort zone right like we already have a way more dramatic look of a similar house like look at that so much more like curb appeal a little bit more boom we're gonna hit on the center of the house pull this arrow up a few a few pops up and look, it raises it up too. Like it just gives it such a nice little depth of boom, boom. See how that looks? Like look, boom, this looks so much better than this, right? Both same kind of concept though, right? We're gonna go and we're gonna change our roof. Let's, what is that? Oh, that's kind of fun. We're just gonna shingle it. I've been really enjoying actually this kind of green shingle for some reason lately. It's been really pretty as well. And then we're just gonna do a simple, um, Paneling, I think, around the edges is going to be nice. How about this? Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Looks grand, right? Look at that. So nice. And sometimes I do also frame just right around the corner here, too, where um, patio kind of goes in. It just looks so much nicer. And you can extend this a little bit further. You can go a little bit up. And then, kaboom, this is where our beautiful house lies in. If you want to see how the rest of this build is going to turn out from kaboom to bam, whoop, whoop, stay tuned because we're going to finish the inside of this build. All right, so we're going to finish this build now. We're going to keep it very similar with the green on the staircase. And then, actually, if you click your hammer, you can get rid of, I don't always keep it, but I like to get rid of it. I don't know, it looks nicer to me in my mind. I want to get like a nice... I think that's good. Don't forget to put your, um, what do you call it? Your um, ledges and your foundation colored just so it adds to your house. And then we're just going to make it really simple with two windows here and a boom. So I tend to do my front first of my builds. And then I'll do my inside um, floor plans before I add the rest of the windows. Because in the past, I used to just add my windows all the way around so it looks good. Then when I go to my floor plans, I'm like, oh, it doesn't really work for me. So we're not going to be doing that. So go down to your flooring. We are going to get some nice um, tile work here, I think. Do we want to match? Because you want to do kind of like a, a section of um, flooring that's going to go and connect to um, like your road essentially, right? Like that looks nice. And then um, to finish off, we're gonna get some fence here so that we can, well not there, I was like, what? 
We want to get a nice little fence just on the side here. This kind of frames it up one more time, right? Like, look at that cute little frame there. And then we're going to get some shrubs. So another challenge when you're doing your um, out exteriors, follow the plants that are around you, you know? So we're going to get like a nice tree in the front. And you put your trees out. And if your trees don't really match what's kind of in the area, then I just think it's, it's not going to work, you know? So... We need to do that, and then I like to just do simple shrubberies, simple like grass patches, kind of just to kind of frame the house a little bit, so it's a little bit more realistic, and it just kind of gives you a nice um, vibe when you're coming into the house, right? Like, I just really like that. It just pops and locks. Just a slight touch, and I would recommend using this same kind of floral and stuff every single time you do a build just so that you get used to it right like it doesn't need to be crazy like they don't need to do anything wild like if you put something down you're like oh, i don't like it then you're not gonna like it like even like i do sunflowers a lot sometimes too because i just add like a really cute touch to the house don't like fret of getting like really close just so you can kind of make some really cute little spots boom and boom I'll place you there like it doesn't need to be anything crazy it's just a little touch right and then you can even so we're gonna move this guy back here and then I'm feeling like we need a little bit like as soon as I look at my neighbors how do they do their front they have a little pathway there they have a little bit of grass not too much so like I'm even thinking of doing like something right there so it's just more like your eye you know what I mean like you just gotta follow your eye and just decide okay how does my how does it look to me you know it's about your taste your ooh, that looks good actually oh it's gonna be for you right or maybe you're building for others but you want it to kind of represent how you feel and you just don't go too crazy just simple like this is not spectacular for like an actual build but i think it looks great and I enjoy it. I'm gonna go to the outside. We're just gonna actually put, cause sometimes this looks really nice, just at the front too. A cute little like, um, and just a little bit off center. It just kind of adds to the curb appeal, you know? It's like, hey, we're doing a little bit of a front yard pop. Look, look at that's nice. And then sometimes in the backyard, cause look how much backyard we have. It's like, <gasps> what are we gonna do to the backyard? Well. Let me tell you, we're just going to fence this off. Something super quick and easy that you can do. Get your fence tool. We'll, like, mimic that fence because that's what we were using. Right? It's the same fence, right? Nope. This one is the same fence we were using. Go to your draw tool and then start away from the wall first because if you go from the platform, it's actually going to... Um, It will go, like, look, it will, like, give you a platform. It's like, I don't want a platform. So you have to go. I remember when I was watching other people do this, I was like, how do they do this? Because all I can get is a platform, and it looks weird. Boom, look at that. Just a slight um, little, just to fence yourself in, and then you can even, like, copy this tree there just to put it kind of in the back, just so it gives a little bit of similarity we are going to daisy it up as well and then we're going to do some of this grass here so then we're going to need to have a door and a staircase that goes down but we're not done with the outside we are going to get a little bit of some dirt patches it really like changes the look of your build it adds some like depth and dimension when you put like some of the kind of areas that you're like would have like had yourself playing around in or your sims like working and then you're gonna go all the way around as well the edge of your house because i mean come on the grass is not gonna be perfect when you have a house in here and i do sometimes like kind of just go where the Fencing is just a little bit. We are actually going to then just pop it, make sure our house is looking good from the front. Kaboom. 
My car feels nice. I wouldn't mind like a little window or some type of attic style there, but because we don't really have, like that's where I feel like it's missing is like almost. All right, let's pop on inside. I've added a little bit of a kind of, uh, I felt like I was missing a little bit of dimension. When you're doing like first story homes, sometimes the front can be a little bit of wah wah. So just a little smidge of dimension up there I thought was gonna look nice. Um, sometimes like a small little like square box can like give that to as well like say like right here and then you're like trying to that's not what I want to go you're trying to like then like pop a like you know like a roof piece on it like here kind of but like I almost want it to just kind of go down so actually I just thought of this you can also if you want a little more dimension stick that out there that's actually gonna look nice and then I'm just gonna pull these guys in. Cancel. This is what I wanted to do. There we go. Now I'm liking that. Look at that. That's the dimension I wanted. I'm still gonna keep um just gives that extra pop. Now, what about windows? Do we have a nice um, circular window that I think would look good and okay there? No, it's too big. And the one thing with windows is you can't really size them down. That looks good. I mean, it's not really a proper attic anyway, so that's okay. But I just like the little, the little pop of dimension it gives. Okay, let's go back into the inside now and finish the interior. You know, we went from a blah, blah house to a little bit of a dimension. Simple, square, off, rectangled style, but it still looks good. Okay, so I simply got the floor plan done. I'm like, you just really need to kind of, you know, don't go too crazy. Like, you can do, like, crazy walls and pops. Remember, we're just learning to build. You're just trying to get comfortable with your room and your spaces. So you really just need, like, a little spot for an entrance. Bedroom bathroom kitchen living area or like living area kitchen dining kind of concept nothing too crazy you're gonna go into um your lighting category boom up to the pot lights here you're gonna want to add these i always forget to do this and then i'm like oh my god i can't see it so dark in my build why is it so dark then i'm like oh wait lights you can change those afterwards to make it a little bit more of a boom. But like I find it's kind of fun just to um like do those and then later on you can experiment with lighting. But we got our little like exit here. We should probably put the fence here as well, right? So I like that. Okay, just a little bit. So maybe I don't want Don't mind that. Did we do that? No, we didn't do this part here. We just this there. And then here. There, that just finishes that off nicely. Like, look at our inside looks good. Now we're just gonna kind of pop in. This is where you're gonna grab whatever you like. I like to stick to base game because it makes it a little bit easier. Um, you don't get overwhelmed with everything. And like in the backyard, you really can just kind of go here and um, build yourself a pool and stuff. But look, we're at 7,000, so it depends. I like to do my backyard afterwards, and it could be like a, a growth process, right? Like you're doing a smaller home and you don't want it to cost too much. You're kind of gonna not spend too much on the backyard, but you're getting yourself ready for something magical. And now that you have like your kind of floor plan set out, you know, you just pop in some tiles, something too crazy, like bathroom, you know, you want to stick to, you can really do whatever you want, honestly, but you know, tiles in your bathroom, in your kitchen, a brick style wall, you know, a little bit of color in your living room and bedroom. And then this is where I finally add my windows. I follow the same like kind of style for what I did in the front. Um, and I just, ooh, is that too high? No, I gotta bring it down. And I just make sure they're even on each side. And then you do have to watch though, like you, there is a place where you can end up doing too much. So you still wanna like even them around the sides, but you wanna make sure that you are 
getting enough windows where there needs to be windows, right? Kaboom, look at that. We got our windows down. So now we can place our furniture and really catch what it's gonna pop and look like. So are you excited to see the inside? You just gotta go with the flow, you know? You just gotta see what's gonna work for you. I did base game, baby, because when you're starting out, I think base game is probably your best friend. You don't wanna get too over complicated and what kind of, oh, that's better, ooh, that's pretty. Um, packs that you use, um, when you have so many packs, it can be kind of scary and challenging. So the backyard, we don't really have any more money because I also thought, boom, let's make it a starter home. So it is 19000 for this beautiful house. And look, curb appeal, baby, if we would have done it the way that the game forced us to start it, it would have looked funny from the side. But let's go inside the build. I'm so excited to show you. Kaboom. Here's a little overview shot. When you first walk in, you're going to get um, your living room area here. Got a nice little hutch, some plants, the little side tables with your cute little TV and sofa rug to match where you enter in here into like your tiny little itty bitty kitchen, but it has all your needs. You got your sink, a little bit of paper towel and spatulas, as well as the um, cooking area. I also love using this cork board. Um, I know you can pin like your postcards and stuff to it, but I just feel like it's a really good spot when I'm thinking about making my kitchens, because I have calendars or stuff there, so it's a really good place to put your notes. And then you can kind of see on this side here, the hutch again, um, a plant. I kind of want to move it a little bit over into our little kitchen seating area. Like I said, it's just for like a one sim starting out in the world. Kind of vibe out as we go into a little itty bitty bathroom. When I do my builds, I literally do like... If I'm using other packs, I'll do a three tile build, but I do like the four tile. You just want to get a few essentials in there, you know, make sure you can wash your hands, you know, toilet, shower, boom, you're done, toilet paper, you know. And then the bedroom, I was like, oh my goodness, I can't fit a big bed in here. I'm like, whatever, I'm starting out my gameplay into a starter home. I don't need a big bed yet. This is where you can like upgrade, you know, upgrade later on. And I might do that later. I might do a little like expansion build of how you can take a smaller build and add to it and still make it look pretty hopefully so hit that like button subscribe if you're new and there is some more ernie j videos for you just giving you a little taste and love of how you turn a flat looking house into a little bit something more with a punch we'll catch you next time bye